All right, let's go to our next bout. It's in the 145 pound division. Fighting out of the red corner, representing Foley's Tatsukan, weighing in at 143 pounds. Please give it up for Adam Butcher. Yeah, Adam is definitely the hometown favorite here. This is only his second fight, but Adam is a martial arts instructor that's been teaching in the Ogden area for years and years. He jumped over into the MMA game. He taught traditional karate for a long time, jumped into the MMA game probably five, six years ago. Been doing very well since. His first fight, he was successful with the submission. We'll see what he's got tonight, but he's a uh, small guy coming in at 145 for the fight but he's a physical specimen. Guy's in good shape. You'll see that coming up pretty quick. I think that's always cool when um, your entire school and your team gets to see the coaches get out there and compete. You know, they teach so many people. I'm sure he's cornered a lot of guys and brought so many guys up in the sport. And now it's an opportunity for every come, everybody to come back and support him and see what he can do in there. Yeah, too, too often you have the coaches or the, the people who run the school train the people to fight. And they're rarely the ones that actually get in there and fight. So it gets a lot of respect from the students when you've got the guy that runs your school that's willing to get in and do what he teaches you how to do. So Adam's a, Adam's a, a good athlete, very, very Butcher. and I'm looking for ex an exciting fight tonight. And his opponent fighting up. Hello. His opponent. His opponent fighting up. His opponent fighting out of the blue corner, out of Paul Thomas, weighing in at 141 and a half pounds. Get up for Colin Clifford. Looks like uh, Colin Clifford is coming in representing Paul Tom's school. Uh, got a 
jujitsu background. I don't know how good he is at jujitsu, but uh, he's in for a handful because Adam is very fast. Well, this is a pretty fast fight so far. Colin Clifford definitely going in for the takedowns. Looks like Adam's got a got a pretty good guillotine on right now. Adam's really controlling him with that guillotine. Clifford's just scooting into him. Okay, finally he stands up. Obviously wanting to stay on, stay on the ground. Adam's fast. He's, he's picking him apart on his feet. You can see why, why uh, Clifford wants to go to the ground. Oh, he gets the takedown. Caught, caught a kick. Now let's see what happens on the ground. Collins in the guard of, of Adam right now. Not too much action right now, they're just holding on. He just needs to shove off. Adam just needs to shove him off and get back up. Oh, oh. nice up kick right to the face. That was fantastic. Oh, went to side control, throwing some uh, body shots. Nice, nice. Oh, suplex. Oh, my God. That was beautiful. Lee's got suplex. Suplex is in. Now he's got side control. And he's not sitting around. He's These guys have the crowd standing right now. This is awesome. Beautiful transitions on the ground. Adam's in side control now. Boy, there's a lot of action in this fight. Adam's looking to guillotine again. If I were Adam, I'd just stand back up and make him, make him try to take you down again. I don't know, he's tiring, he's tiring him out. Collins trying to get something. Adam's just stuffing everything. Looks like he's going for uh, an anaconda on him. Oh, I love those anacondas. I'd like to see him pull that off. Even if it doesn't get him, it, it'll tire you out. Yeah, he is. Now he's taking the back. Now he's back in. Oh no, oh no. Got that triangle locked on good. He's out, Adam's out. A good triangle. Yeah, Colin had a very solid triangle on there. Adam managed to escape. Adam was in trouble. That was hard because he was caught. I took a little bit out of Adam. He was pretty uh, going a pretty fast pace there a minute ago. Now he's going for that guillotine. He's going to finish now. He's got it solid. See if he can hold on to it. He needs to twist a little bit. There it is. That is.
fight. That was a good fight. The little guys are impressive. They are. I, I, I was speechless there for a minute. All those great transitions. You, you get caught up watching and taking notes. Yeah, he, uh, he, he survived the triangle. That could have, he could have been out, but he survived it. That was pure heart. But once he got out of that, he wasn't messing around. He went right for a choke, dunk it. What a great matchup so far with the night. I've been impressed with all the matchups. Stand up versus grappler, and uh, everybody's putting on a good show tonight. Looks like just about everybody here in the crowd uh, seems to know Adam. <laughs> that was a standing ovation there at the end. That was pretty exciting. Yeah, he's definitely a crowd favorite. He's been, he's been doing this for a long time in the area, and it's very well liked. Fight fans, how you feeling about that one? Are you liking that one? Make some noise if you like that bout. The bout comes to an end at four minutes and 49 seconds in the first round by tap out due to guillotine choke. Your winner out of the red corner, Adam. Butcher! Uh, all right, Sensei, you gotta, gotta ask this question. It seemed like the entire fight, uh, all first round, you imposed your will. How gratifying is this win, knowing that you're able to apply the techniques that you're teaching your students back here? Uh, that, that was my whole goal. It was the whole purpose, you know. I really don't like to hurt people, but uh, I really wanted to inspire my students. I wanted to show them that even if you're 34, you're not too old to uh, try new things and take chances. And I'm just grateful it turned out well. And uh, there's a lot of people I like to thank, if you don't mind. I, I'd like to ask the ladies, ladies, how many of you guys were digging Adam's six pack right here? Look at that. Holy crap. Anybody got any dirty laundry? I want to have some dirty laundry. Uh, that's the most excitement out of this crew back here that I've heard all fight. You really brought the house down. Uh, very spectacular fight, lots of action. Uh, was that your game plan to wear him down? He, he seemed pretty fast, pretty squirrely, if you ask me. He was, he was. He did a great job. He almost got me in a triangle. And I just had to, uh, like, seriously make a conscious decision whether to give up or keep, continue on. But uh, he did great. Who do you want to show some love to, uh, Sensei? First off, my stand-up coach. He's been with me this whole time, really dedicated a lot of time. Foley's MMA, they just uh, accepted me in and welcomed me. Uh, Westside Jiu-Jitsu, Lobato's, my beautiful wife that I uh, can't live without, and my kids, my students. Give it up for the Sensei, Adam Butcher. <laughs>